Yeah. I couldn't tell with all the blue on, yeah, the, on the, the screen. Yeah, the blue and the red. Yeah. And the, the, the logo. <laughs> the, you know? the Mega Man helmet. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, yeah, we just came back uh, yesterday from an extremely high by Kadian. Yes. That was uh, uh, an Arcadian for <laughs> to sell for the ages, well, man. Purifies it was out here. Crazy. Motivating everybody. Look, Boyd's out here. Yeah. Did you see how many PR players were at this tournament today? Yeah. At least the top uh, 18 seeds, I think. Or, or no, 13, 14, something like that. That's there was a pretty significant wow. number of PR and XPR that yeah. were here. So Looking like the MSMs of old, bro. Yeah. But, I mean, let's talk about Syro for a second. Making two pretty big upsets in his run to get here. Beating both Larry with his Politen uh, Larry's Politena and he beat Nico, uh, Nico Schulk as yes. well, making very, the winner's finals. Very impressive. And he, he got sponsored by... Uh, uh, Mazur like a month ago or so. Yeah. A little over a month ago. Same sponsor as uh, Nakat and La Luna. And so Shine. And Shine, yeah, that's right. So yeah, they're uh, picking up some SoCal players. going to be exciting. But right now it looks like uh, Void has decided to change to a very extremely different, completely out of the blue character. Yeah. yeah. The Pichu evolved. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the Pichu evolved because of, uh, I mean, some say we'll, we'll say the nerf, you know, so. But yeah, I mean, it's uh, Pikachu and Pichu are really different, honestly. Um, they're like kind of similar, but they're not close enough to even be like even considerably like echoes. But um, yeah, Pikachu definitely doesn't hurt himself, so it's a little safer than mm -hmm. uh, Pichu. Not as explosive though. Pichu very very explosive. But man, Cyro's doing so great right now. His Roy just, I mean, pretty much his main at this point. But well, we got the loops. Yeah, I mean, Void has already expressed that uh, he can profusely do it uh, with Pichu as well. So just change it up just a little bit and you, you can do it with Pikachu too. Yeah, and the great thing about Nair loops from Pika is the SDI doesn't like counterplay it as hard. When you SDI the Pichu loops, uh, they're not so great. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but Pika, it's a little harder. Wow, these parries. Ooh, he was by the edge. That Him missing that tech was actually not that bad because he was right by the edge. He just hold out. Yeah, he could slide off of him. He gets mm. to the ledge. Ooh, but uh, kind of a wrist there trying to go for the Thunder setup and uh, not able to find it. That back air is going to close it out. Oh, but he, t he used the up smash in the wrong direction, but it catches the air dodge anyway. That thunder, when it hits Pikachu, the base is just, the hitbox is so huge. Mm -hmm. so really, yeah. really great stuff. Oh, this is a horrible situation. Another back air. Great DI coming out from Sire. He looked like he SDI'd out and uh, was able to avoid that third back air because that mm -hmm. would have put him in a horrible position off -screen. Right, yeah. Mm -hmm. Probably would have to be forced to use his jump and then probably just easy pickings for a character like Pikachu who can edge guard very easily. Oh, yeah. <gasps> I mean, Void just a player that thrives very hard off of edge guarding. Um, that's why Pichu was so good for him as well. He's a very <laughs> explosive character, very good at edge guarding. So Pikachu, kind of similar, pretty explosive. But uh, yeah, I mean, right now Cyro just doing a really great job. He hasn't been gotten gimped once yet. He's holding center stage control, doing a very, very good job against this Pikachu pressure. Mm -hmm. That's definitely good. Tech chase situation, not quite. Just jumps right out of it. Gets one parry out, but doesn't isn't ready for a multi parry. But jab the back air, still not enough to do it. Yeah, I mean, and that almost killed center stage, by the way. That's how yeah. strong jab sweet spot back air is with Roy. And that is pretty much the main reason that and the side, the power on the side beat is going to be the main reasons why you pick Roy over Chrome. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. I was watching oh. another Cyro set earlier, and uh, he killed a, an Incineroar with that at like 60. It was pretty crazy. Yeah, but this is uh, this is the pain of Roy. Um, it can get really bad when you're just hitting those noodle hit boxes and uh, your opponent's sitting at like 150. You know, like it, it de there's definitely an opposite side of the spectrum, which is why you know Prom can be so consistent. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you don't hit, find those sweet spots, and then additionally, uh, once you get past 100, percent you start to lose your tech chase setups as well. So you can't really get a reliable kill unless you get some kind of read, and that can be difficult, like we said earlier. Let's see if he can get off, and he can't. It's not a Pichu 4 tilt, at least, yeah, so he's yeah. not going to die to that. He almost did, though. Yeah. A back air will do it. But for Syro, he was able to sneak around, and it definitely looked like Void was going for maybe some kind of jump read or something, or mm -hmm. just a back throw. But the dash attack will close it out, something that uh, you know the Pichu dash attack does not do. Mm -hmm. And Pika, Pika having that killing dash attack is such a big deal, because he also has the up throw as well that kills at pretty high percent. But here comes the loops. Ooh, very nice DI down, looks like. Mm-hmm. Look like it. I think he's taking advantage of Roy's uh, fastball, fastball nature too. Yeah. yeah, just to be able to get out of combos a little bit sooner as well. That's how you know. That, that's what separates the good from the great, man. When you when you combine like your character attributes with like just base game mechanics, like mm -hmm. Cyro just did right there, is right. very very smart. Yeah, but he got a drag down. Gonna start off with a nair loop on the platform too. Very significant. Ooh, Ooh that was nice. Spicy. That the drag down forward air, and um, that's something that. Pikachu has more access to the the drag down fair into like something is way more accessible with uh, Pikachu rather mm -hmm. than Pichu. 
Uh, I saw it from Sire who you really didn't want to go into shield, decided to respect the Thunder Jolt and gave Void complete center stage because of it. So we're gonna have to see. Yeah, he's still respecting it. Oh, but he's gonna get a fair out of it. Wow. He's gonna close out game one with it too. Yeah, that was really, really good. I was actually kind of scared that the fair wasn't gonna kill. Um, obviously back air, a lot more stronger than the forward air, but mm -hmm. Pikachu, uh, not the heaviest. And Sire had like a pretty decent amount of tank of rage there, a little yeah. over 100%, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll see. And that well, was like great reaction as well coming out from uh, Syro. Not a lot of people can react really well after the jab, but yeah. if you're a Roy man, you got to do it. Mm -hmm. I really like that after the first Thunder Joe, he ran away and then he saw, okay, I lost a lot of stage and that's Void used that to pressure me even more off stage. And he decided to try and tank the hit from the Thunder Joel instead and it worked out for him. Big dividends. So I just looked at my phone and Cosmos wants me to say that the only reason why I jumped on commentary is because Cosmos wanted to hear my commentary. So shout out to Cosmos. Um, I oh, also, okay. I also wanted to commentate with you too, Seth. You know what I'm saying? Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I see how it is, Charles. <laughs> oh, man. Also, hi, Cosmos. Hope you're yeah. enjoying. Yeah, he, right. he's uh, he. Cosmos really likes watching Pikachu. He doesn't play Pikachu, but he he claims to know everything about Pikachu. Ah, I see. All one right. Of, one of those guys. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh, yeah. <laughs> 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 All right. Here we go. Cyrus still with a decently decent size lead so far. I feel like in Ultimate in general, like who gets the first stock usually determines the face, pace of the match. Yeah. So we'll yeah. have to see how that goes down. Great micro spacing from Void actually getting right around inside that uh, get up attack range. And Void almost had that first stock with that down air, but the down air sent outwards instead of getting that spiking hitbox using the T-Joe for pressure. That forward air is enough and the quick attack around Cyro as well to make sure he doesn't nip him because, you know, that up B does have a hitbox now that he's playing Pikachu. Mm -hmm. Ooh, ooh. Mm. Oh, he tried to get the sour up air and try because you can sour up air chain people off the side and then finish it off before air. We've seen Esam do it, we've seen Captain L do it. Mm -hmm. Not quite gonna be able to find it though. Oh, he just stood there. Yeah, a second re grab out of it and try to continue on, and he's still getting a lot of damage out of it. What's the ledge play gonna be? Just yes. quick attacks back, not quite as safe as before, and oh. just runs in. Yeah, dash cancel into the four tilt. Yeah, he used the pivot boost too, which was mm -hmm. really really nice. That pretty much secured the uh, sweet spot on that forward tilt. Catching the landing, no. Void gonna commit to that uh, the grab a little early there. Um, one thing I do want to point out, just generally, Pikachu does lack range. It's probably one of Pikachu's like biggest weaknesses is the fact that like you don't have aerials that like rising aerials that kill for the most part, except like fair off stage. It's more situational. Mm -hmm. But um, and you also lack range. So when you're fighting us, when you lack range and you're going up against a disjoint, Pikachu has to play very very heavy with punish. But wow, Void just combos him all the way to the left and just finishes him off with the thunder. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we can see like the way Void is playing. Sometimes he drifts into his opponent while trying to do an aerial because he lacks that range and that Cyro is just staying right outside, you know, doing a dash back, goes in with a grab or just stays right outside the range, gets another grab. Yes. So uh, you can see the weaknesses playing out and Cyro doing well against it. But I mean, Void is also getting those heavy punishes and comboing off so that he can close out those stocks when he finally does get an opening. Yeah, and another thing too, just Roy, rather than Krom in this particular matchup, is Pikachu is a character that you lack the range, but you have so much cross-up potential. <laughs> but it's so much riskier to cross-up Krom just because his up B is faster than Roy's. Mm -hmm. It's out of shield, which and it does an insane amount of damage, too. So it's just, I think Void is able to go for a little bit more cross-ups against this Roy rather than a Krom. Yeah. A simple turnaround. Oh, use up his double jump, buddy. He makes it back just fine. Just gets clipped by the quick attack. Almost dies off the top. We got directional air dodge out, but we're Pikachu. We have uh, one of the best recoveries in mm -hmm. the game. Also Definitely. comes equipped with the hitbox as well. So just one thing about Pika is uh, I think Pika nullifies disadvantage like probably the most out of all the meta characters. Uh, Joker down gun is up there as well. Mm -hmm. Was that your double jump, sir? That was in the down air just for the insurance. Void going to take game number two. Yep. Just in case. <laughs> just in case, you know. The magnets, uh, the Smash 4 <laughs> magnets come back or something like that. Yeah, just gotta gotta hit the juicy there. Yeah. But right there, Boy got the down tilt on the ledge drop double jump. So it's a little hard to catch, but right when uh, Cyro came up, there's that little jump bubble that mm -hmm. you could see right below right. the ledge. So mm -hmm. that, that's how you knew he went for the ledge drop double jump. And that is the risky thing. If you go for that, you know, Roy has a lot of options out of that. You can come in, cross up with the Nair, or go for the Fair, come in with this aggressive aerial. But if your opponent just so happened to throw out an attack before your aerial goes off, then you're, uh, <laughs> and you got a recovery like Roy. Mm -hmm. I mean, Cyro has taken at least two stocks with uh, drop down, double jump, cross up back air at the exactly. ledge. And I think Boy was catching on to those. Okay, you're probably going to do this again because we're both at high percents and you're probably trying to take off this stock. So let's just do that and uh, send you in an awful position. 
All right, looks like. Wait, what? What? Uh, what hat is that? With the uh, is that X and y, X and Y, right? Pretty sure it's, it's X, X and Y. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm not. I'm not the biggest Pokemon fan, so um, I have specific games that I really enjoy. So okay. not quite as. Good. Not quite as. Uh, you're not uh, you as know, cultured. That's yeah. Fine. As, uh, okay. <laughs> well, you, you, <laughs> choice of words, but okay. <laughs> Uncultured swine. At least I know that Heart Gold is the best game in the series. Okay. Moving on. Okay. I I, I hard agree on that. Okay. Good. Gen two is my favorite. Yeah. Gen two or remix of Gen two is just slap right, really hard. I All right. Mean, anyways. That just kind of makes us old too, though, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're older than me. You don't yeah, even remember right. what what age you are. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Saying, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. Why. <laughs> 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 All right, well, let's see. Cyro having a little bit of difficulty. Void's being very slippery so far, making it very difficult to get, actually really try to hit him. And then that's an advantage that both Pikachu and Pichu have. You know, they're smaller hurt boxes, so it can be hard to catch sometimes as well. Yeah, and they even pancake on some of the uh, the landing hit boxes, like like back air onto the ground. They Pikachu <laughs> pancakes. No double jump, I think, on Cyro here. Okay, but going to avoid the T jolt off stage again. Void setting up the T jolts and the down air. Yes, mm -hmm. to follow. And these edge guards. Like we were talking about in game one, well, Void's starting to hit him. Yeah. <laughs> and it's uh, it's being it's a uh, it's a very devastating pivoting point here for Void. If Cyro can't clean up the offstage, Void can definitely run away with the set mm -hmm. really quick. Yeah. I mean, with uh, Roy's up B, I mean, it, it is slightly better than Kronos because he's got some diagonal range that he can go. But it's either recover high and then you're drifting for a long time and you can get blown up, or you get intercepted by Thunder Jolt and is able to cover both options for Void so he can react to the right one accordingly. Yeah, and I mean, the one thing I do like about Krom's recovery a little bit more is uh, directional air dodge becomes a little bit more viable. Mm -hmm. You have no double jump, you just got hit off. Directional air dodge, hope they don't cover it, and then you can upbeat a ledge. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. for the most part, a player like Void will probably cover it, but there's still that slight chance of human air. Right. Okay, tech chase. Ooh. Ooh. And man, Cyro is, uh, I don't know if Cyro's just feeling so pressured to the point where you know, Void just kind of weaving in and out, so he's going for a lot of these panic up Bs. Mm -hmm. um, some of them are working and some of them aren't. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks like for the most part, Cyro's mostly from going like wake up buttons. And yeah. I think Void is doing a good job of staying right outside the range or using a dash back to bait it out and then coming back in with a punish afterwards. Ooh, the forward tilt center stage. Yeah, Pikachu, very, very light, gonna die pretty much instantaneously there. The up throw, no back throw for the edge guard here. T jolt to cover low, burns the second jump, tries to get the air dodge to ledge, but the down smash doesn't quite get it. Mm -hmm. Cyro had just enough resources to make it back with enough mix-ups, too, so Void had to take a guess there with that down smash. Ooh, man! I mean, I don't blame him at this point. Cyro needs, uh, he's kind of getting, like, withered out here. He, he needs to make some kind of play happen here. He's got the full tank of rage. He's needed to make something happen right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's points in time in the flow of the match where you should probably just go for some kind of risk. Even just, like, it bring doesn't yourself work back out, in. Yeah. you know what I mean? Like, it's just... It's, it's hard because now he's to the point, now, now he's at 170 against Pikachu. If you get dash tacked or if you get grabbed, you're dead. It's almost like the wolf syndrome. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. and I mean, like, yeah, you got a full tank of rage, but you, you got to make that tank of rage count. And you got to you gotta really punish these characters that have super consistent neutral and super consistent damage output, like Pikachu, really, like, you know, th that, that's their weakness, right. getting raged out. Mm -hmm. So the, you know, the, the new version of Limit Cross Slash is going to close out that stock there. He's still going. Yeah, he's... Oh, he had the plot. If he got the Nair, maybe drag him back. But wow, it doesn't even matter catching him in the air with the Thunder Dragon back down to the base. One thing I do want to point out, just in difference of Pichu and Pikachu, I know I'm, I sound like a broken record, but Pichu's Thunder will always send the way Pichu's facing. Mm -hmm. So if you're ever in that situation, you always want to, like, in that situation, Cyro could have DI'd left, maybe live. Because mm -hmm. you get hit on the left side of the thunder, get yeah. hit to the left. So um, that's the one deadly thing about Pichu that makes Pichu's edge guarding even more consistent than Pika's is the fact that if you get hit by thunder, like Pichu is facing that direction, like you're yeah. gonna die. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Whereas mm -hmm. Pikachu, there's there's also there's always that sliver of hope. You know? Yeah, exactly. I think in that in that exact moment, I think Cyro was thinking, okay, I'm gonna go high. I'm probably gonna be safe here. And then Boy was like, nope, I have this to cover it. So you're dead. Switching to the Meta Knight, actually, this time around. I Cyro agree. was a player in Smash 4 as well that had a plethora of characters to use. In this game, he's also got Meta Knight. He's thrown out the Falco a couple of times. Not as much as uh, the Roy, for sure. But, yeah, he's got options in case uh, he's feeling his back to the wall. And, man, I just... Pikachu's such a great character for Void because Pikachu has that intricate combo game that, you know, Void loves to dabble with. Um, there's a lot of different situations. Speaking of combo, off the top, man, looking like Smash 4, Cyro with the up airs 
into the upbeat combo. Looking yeah. clean because he even crossed up the DI. Yeah. That was really, really good from Sauer. Sauer reacted to the, the cross up on the DI, just switched up the combo and still got him off the top. And now lapping him in percent. Yeah, that was really good. I like that little uh, dab reset with the down tilts too to be able to rack on some more damage. Definitely looking like uh, the Meta Knight's definitely still, uh, you know, well practiced and uh, warmed oh, yeah. up still. So. Oh, dang. Well, we, we really out here trying to get the hard reads. But you know what? When you're feeling yourself, and Void is someone that doesn't lack Meta Knight experience whatsoever. Um, his character is still very similar to how it was in uh, Smash 4, and mm -hmm. he's had played a decent amount of Ultimate Meta Knights as well. So um, Cyro just playing very, very amazing right now. Yeah. And like you said, man, this, this Ultimate is a game where when you take the first stock, it can be pretty devastating. Uh, you just dash back is so strong, and just combo games are so consistent as well. So usually when on the spawn in, you can just get a very solid like 0 to 50, 0 to 40. Yeah. Ooh, tried to oh, go with lock. some kind of yep. reset. Wow, he didn't. Oh, hmm. OK. I don't, I, I don't know why he, he actually went I, for that I option. think that dash was a misinput because he wanted a forward smash. Uh -huh. So he did a third dash, but he didn't press A in time. Okay, with okay. The, you know what I'm saying? Like all right, right, right. That's what I'm thinking, but wow, that Thunder will get hard punished, and we might be seeing a game number five unless Void gets the hard turn up right now because uh, Syro is with a very commanding lead, and he's still hitting him. He's not done. I mean, th this could possibly be a three stock mm -hmm. on the game four for Syro bringing in the Meta Knight. Yeah. I like what Syro is doing is that he's, you know, util obviously utilizing Meta Knight's really strong burst options to be able to go in and punish. And then afterwards, he wastes just a microsecond more just to see what Void does and is able to extend that. Most of the time, like a Meta Knight will get like an opening with the burst option and it's like, okay, well, ladder combo's dropped or something like that. But if you wait just a little bit, you can read out the disadvantage option and just go in with something more. And then he's been able to get a lot of mileage off of his uh, exchanges here. There's the dash attack, and right there, Syro burning all of his resources, grabbing the ledge again, hoping that Void's going to extend and try to get the punish. But here comes the combos. It can be a little harder with the rage, but, I mean, Void only has a tad bit of rage, so definitely still doable here. Ooh, and the platform actually saving Syro. I like how he died up and in and went for the platform tech. Very, mm -hmm. very smart. Yeah. Being aware of your surroundings is always important, too, along with everything else that we mentioned so far. And I mean, that's why these two are winners' finals, and, you know, we're just commentating the game, you know? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> and... I mean, the, ooh, okay, didn't get jab locked there. But Void still doing a really good job. And we see Void even making that risky play there. And we are talking about that earlier, right? Mm -hmm. Knowing when and where to make that risky play. Yeah. You know, that, that Thunder definitely would have killed there. Oh, mm, that, that was clean, man. The, the, the turnaround after the, after the Nair as well. Right. It's the trade. Really good jump from. Woo! But the anti-air forward smash going to clutch it out. Yeah, he thought he could sneak in a little bit of a hitbox there to try and make it back to stage. But forward smash, of course, is disjointed too. So it's going to cover that just nicely. Ooh. And just like that, I mean, Void is making the comeback right now. We're already down to last stock. So I think anyone, anything can happen at this point. Yeah, Void has the rage. So his combos aren't going to be as potent. I mean, as you can see, he's kind of getting like two to three hit combos. Mm -hmm. Oh, <laughs> wow. He almost got that off. Wait, what's the punish here? Grab, yep, pretty standard. Okay, Sour, oh, going for Ooh. the Sour attack, but the dimensional cape, peekaboo, I see you. And there you go, Void's gonna get hit by that. And I mean, that that's the one thing about dimensional cape. It's, it's pretty risky. It is essentially kind of like a 50-50 because if you try to shield it, um, by the time, and they don't swing, by the time you drop shield, they can probably do something. So right. it is a coin flip and it's a, Great mobility move. You literally like disappear and teleport. So, mm -hmm. um, really good stuff. Cyro with the reversal there, kind of holding that momentum from Void. But the one scary thing about that, when you almost get reverse three stocked, guess who has the momentum the next game? Yeah. Not the guy who won, but the guy that was <laughs> getting the reverse three stock. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Because he had all the momentum. Void had all that momentum going in. We'll see if uh, Cyro can kind of like hold that. Um, but obviously, he's going to stick with the Meta Knight here. Uh, and we're going to Kalos for game number five. Yeah. I mean, just comparing these two players, obviously Void has a lot more uh, experience being very seasoned traveler uh, yes. in, in his Smash career. Whereas Cyro, you know, has uh, kind of just been in the shadows for the most part, not really leaving his region too much. And you can see it in the in the player cams when we saw earlier that Void is very composed. You know, he's, uh, he knows it's like, okay, I got almost a reverse three stock. I'll probably, probably get this next game. And Cyro kind of looked lost. It's like, oh, should I stay in tonight? Or like, was it just a fluke? Or what should I do, man? So we'll have to see. Both of these two relatively even so far. And I love the pick for Void coming out. We're on Kalos here. Any stage with walls is like 
really good for the um, Pikachu or Pichu because when they're off stage coming back, they can literally like just spam neutral B. It hits the wall and it's like doom missiles. Like mm -hmm. it's like oh let me just call these in. Like as I'm on the ledge, like, ta -ta 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 -ta, like oh yeah, <laughs> you just get like hit by the T jolt barrage. It's like oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and when they reach the ground, they're even faster. So it definitely covers uh, the lower recovery. Or when you're trying to recover back, then you can use it to cover the ground faster too. That's Ooh, Ooh, another dimensional cape kill. Cyro going very aggressive when Void did not expect it. Yeah. Really nice option there. Oh, but going to get the run off fair. Okay, we're down to a two-stock game. He only got hit by one hit of fair, though. <laughs> the one that matters. Yeah. The last hit. And that, honestly, that's usually what you want to go for as Pikachu. Fair is not the most consistent move as Pikachu offstage, so you want to try to, like, catch someone with the tail end of it. Right. But here are the Nair loops dragged back down, but now, essentially, you go you usually go into two loops with the grab, and then you go into up tilts. Mm -hmm. So the grab will have, like, a higher base knockback, so you go with the grabs for the first two if you have no rage and they're at zero. Then you start going to up tilt. Grab and up tilt are both frame seven, so it's pretty much the same thing. It just de depends on what side you uh, drag them down to. Right. Okay. <laughs> they're trying to beat each other out in air to air right now. Yeah, both of these Ooh, characters with yeah. uh, very stubby, not not the craziest amount of range. Mm -hmm. Meta Knight with that butter knife. Yeah. You can tell the kind of a hesitation between both players too. They both like jumped into each other and then held shield for a bit and then it's like, okay, we're just gonna dip out. Like. Let's try this again another time. Trying to collect data on each other as well. Oh, the Jackpot comes in. There's the forward smash. This is a relatively wide stage, though. Should be okay for a little bit longer. Trying to go for the edge guard on the Mennonite. Cyro going aggressive once again. No kill off the, the lag on the rapid jab there. Void a little uh, too hesitant. Gets another sour spot. And there's the down B to punish that thunder. Yeah, he's like 100% hit rate on these dimensional capes so far. Yeah, he's been getting them. Very, very consistently here. What's the ledge trap here for Void? There's a dash attack punish on the get up attack. Cyro getting a, I mean, just generally has been very aggressive, even on the ledge options as well. Yeah. Okay, off stage here, very Whoa. good weight on Void, using the double jump, stalling as much time as possible. And now he's got Void conditioned into the shield for the dimensional cape. Yeah, that was very nice. And then he got the shield drop. He was expecting maybe he could get it in with the punish, and then he just went for down smash. Quick option, able to put him off stage again. Yeah, and it can be very hard to contest Pikachu's uh, up air. Uh, it isn't, I believe it's intangible, but it's one, it, the best thing is it's how quick it is, but mm -hmm. I believe it's also intangible. Using the quick attack to close in the range, and that's something else that Pikachu does have over Pichu. You know, you can whiff punish people, and there is the no tech, but the down smash to follow is what gets the stock. Really good stuff from Cyro. Yeah, I really like how he went for the back hit, too, just yes. to get a little bit of a stronger hit as well. That's how you know he was waiting for the yeah. no tech or the tech in place. <laughs> mm -hmm. Like, he was ready to react to both of those. Yeah. Because the backside of the Midnight Down Smash is stronger, so. Yeah, he already had a game plan while he was doing those down tilts. Yeah. All right, let's see, though. He's got the ledge control now all of a sudden, but, ah, oh, yeah, this is one of those things. Quick attack is, like, free get out of disadvantage, basically, just because yeah. you can utilize that hitbox, and then you have so many mix-up options as you're recovering from the stage as well. Wow, the, the drill straight in the void. Didn't expect that one. Warrior sending him off stage here. Void op not opting to go for the edge guard, whereas Cyro very willing to edge guard Void, and I feel like that's where he's dropped a lot of his stage control, you know, Cyro maybe, it, it's just really hard to edge guard each other in this match. It's doable, just Ooh. like that. And yeah. the fair will end it there for Void. So, so close, man. Cyro bringing in Void to game five. Last dog, not necessarily last hit, but I mean, the way 